What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a brand new series, tips and tricks for your iOS device. I'm not sure exactly what title I'm going to use, uh, but like I said, this will be an ongoing series. So if you guys are watching this in the future, be sure to check out the playlist link down in the description if you guys want to see future episodes. Uh, but anyways, we're going to dive right into this. And the first trick I have for you is how to make a grocery list with the notes application. So let's go ahead and let's jump into notes here. And let's go ahead and let's put in the first item of our list. I guess eggs would work really good for that. And then you guys will see the plus symbol on the right hand side above your keyboard. Click on that. And then you'll see the little check mark. Go ahead and click on that. And then we can click return to start another uh, item. Let's put in bacon because everybody loves bacon. And then I guess maybe milk. And then we can go ahead and click on done when we've created our entire grocery list or whatever kind of list you want to use this for. And we can check off the items as we get them. Uh, like I said, this works perfectly as a grocery list and I thought it was really awesome. The next tip I have for you guys is how to enable Wi-Fi calling. Uh, most carriers will support this. That way when you're at home or you know connected to your Wi-Fi, you're not actually using up your minutes on your plan. You can just do it over Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and jump into settings here. We're going to scroll down to the phone section and then right at the top you'll see calls. You can see Wi-Fi calling. You can just enable Wi-Fi calling. Like I said, most carriers do support this. That way you're not using your minutes when you're connected to your Wi-Fi. Pretty cool tip. The next trick I got for you guys is how to do a quick charge. It's really simple. Just go into settings, scroll down until you see battery, and then go ahead and put your device into low power mode and then plug it in and charge it. Like I said, that will act as kind of a quick charge. It will charge obviously a bit quicker than normal. And I thought that was kind of a cool little trick you can do with your device. The next trick I got for you guys is drag to select photos. So if we go into our photos application, let's say we want to share all of these photos or we want to make a new um, album for them and we have just a ton of fo uh, photos to select. It's not very logical to go through individually and select on each photo when you can just drag to select all of them. So let's go ahead and just drag to select. As you guys can see, I just swipe across and then swipe down and boom, I can very easily select a lot of photos, like I said, to either be deleted, uh, shared, or you know moved to another album. Very cool little trick there, drag to select. And the last trick I have for you guys is how to adjust uh, your camera on your device, specifically your video, how to change the video settings or video recording settings. So let's go into settings here. Let's go down to uh, photos and camera, and then we can swipe down until we see our camera section. You can actually toggle on grid view if you want that, but uh, the record video is really cool if you select on that. And by default, my device was at 1080p at 30 frames per second, but I do have the option for 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is obviously a lot better than 30 frames per second. Of course, if you're on a 6S or a 6S Plus, you're going to have 4K options and whatnot, but I thought this was really cool because by default, uh, my device was at 30 frames per second, and I would rather record at 60 frames per second. Uh, just a very cool tip. And you can also change the quality of your slow-mo as well. Instead of doing you know, extremely slow-mo at 240 frames per second, you can uh, speed it up just a little bit to go to half that at 120 frames per second. So I thought that that was really cool that this was within the photos and camera options. So that's me pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, this is tips and tricks for iOS. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. If you did, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see future episodes, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.